after Mr. Trump proposed raising the minimum age to purchase the AR-15. Kentucky Congressman Thomas Massey didn't take long to tweet back at the president, quote, why should a 20-year-old single mom be denied the right to defend herself and her kids? We should lower the age to buy a handgun to 18 instead of raising the age to buy an AR-15. SAD, in all caps there, uh, a little uh, tweak at the president's use of that word. Well, Republican Congressman Massey joins me now. Congressman, welcome to Meet the Press, sir. Thanks for having me on to talk about some serious solutions to these problems. Well, let me ask you this. What is, you heard Senator Toomey, he wants to expand the background check system for all gun purchases. What's wrong with that? Listen, my heart is breaking for the families in Florida. I have kids that go to public school. We had a school shooting here in Kentucky, and I'm a legislator who's in a position to do something. But if I came home after proposing some of these things that are so unserious and disingenuous that some of my colleagues are proposing as solutions to these school shootings, I couldn't face my wife or my children. Now, this, but I've not been in that situation of a school shooting. So this week, I talked to two survivors of Columbine, mm -hmm. and one of them, Evan Todd, related to me his story of being in the library when the two shooters came in. He was the first one shot. He hid under a desk. They found him, and he pleaded for his life. Then he escaped from the library, ran outside, and there were two police behind a shed uh, who had taken up a position. They weren't going in. Now, he tells me that he forgives the adults that day, the legislators, the administrators, yeah. and the police, because they couldn't foresee what was going to happen at Columbine. But he said, it's, you know, it's a shame. Here we are 20 years later. It's still happening. Right. And people are rolling out these same old solutions that will do nothing. And he supports my bill, which is called the Safe Students Act, which would repeal the Federal Gun-Free School Zone Act. All right, but what's wrong with having multiple fail-safes? That's the part of this where I think that people get frustrated on this debate. You have people that say, we don't want to infringe upon anybody's Second Amendment rights, but what's wrong with an expanded right. background check? What's wrong with maybe more cops at high schools? Well, you know, I wish that background checks stopped criminals or stopped school shootings, but they don't. They failed in Texas with the uh, church shooting. They, they failed at Columbine. Look, the two Doesn't, students well, wait a minute. there. Doesn't that mean the background check system is flawed? Isn't that the issue here? That we're not putting, well, then why don't, because we don't put any information in it. We're not putting enough information well, you're in put, it. You're trying to put lipstick on a pig. You're trying to put lipstick on a pig. Look, you can put all the information you want in it, but the shooter in Connecticut who stole his mother's firearms and shot mm -hmm. her before he committed the crime wouldn't, isn't going to be stopped by a background check. Neither were the two perpetrators in Columbine who got other people to buy the guns for them. One of them, one of those straw purchasers went to prison for that because talk about the handgun, you know, 21 age, the, the guy that went to prison, he was 22 and he, he sold a handgun to one of the perpetrators who was 17. Look, people, criminals are going to get a hold of guns. We've, what we've got to look at is what's the solution. The solution, frankly, you know, you can put more guards at schools if you have one guard. It's probably a waste of money because you're just endangering that guard unless you have two guards. And anybody that's in security uh, profession knows that. But what you need are some of the teachers who are armed. 98% of mass public shootings happen in a, in a gun-free zone. And we've labeled all of our schools as gun-free zones. We need to take those labels off and put our kids in that 2% category of being safe, you know, instead of being in that 98% vulnerable category. I, let me ask you this. A majority of the country disagrees with you, right? You have, we have 60, some 65% in a recent poll, um, and it's been across the board, it doesn't matter which poll, that in general, the public would like stricter uh, regulation of gun sales in some form, in a, form or another. You're proposing weaker. I understand that. You're from a rural no. state, and, and so let me ask you this, though. Shouldn't that matter well, you're in a to bubble. Let you're me in ask a bubble you this, there. though. 65% of the country disagrees with you. Do you, have a, do you have an obligation to legislate on behalf of them at all? You're in a bubble. If you take out New York and California, 8% of Americans have concealed carry permits. And the people watching this show right now, there are a lot of them getting ready for church in middle mm -hmm. America, putting their guns on, millions of them. They're going to be carrying guns to church and a family dinner after that, and they're going to be safe. 
And so, you know, all these things, these hypotheticals that come out of the bubble in D.C. or New York City or California, what if this happens, what if that happens? We don't have to ask what if this happens. People are caring every day. I, I guess I go back to is what are you, what are you so opposed to uh, expanding the background check, so, check system? Why do you make this argument that says, well, if you just pass more gun laws, it won't matter, criminals get it, then why do we pass any laws? Like, why do we pass laws on drugs? Why do we pass laws on murder? But we should pass my law to repeal the Gun-Free School Zone Act. I call it the Safe Students Act. But, but look, those are, those are false senses of security. Like Evan Todd from Columbine, he's disgusted at these proposals because they wouldn't do anything. And in 10 years, we're still going to have school shootings unless you propose real legislation like President Trump has proposed that would allow teachers to be armed. But you're in favor of that, but you're opposed to raising the AR-15 to 21. Oh, well, that's, you know, that's ridiculous here. Think about this. You had a, a ban on assault rifles in 1999 when Columbine happened. Mm -hmm. The assault weapons ban lasted, the so-called ban, lasted right. from, so-called assault weapons ban, lasted from 94 to 2004. Columbine fell right in the middle of that. The assault weapons ban would do nothing to stop school shootings. 84% of mass public shootings involve a firearm other than an assault rifle, so-called assault rifle. I understand that, but going back, uh, you just think a background, do you think our background check system, yeah. why, why do we bother with it at all? It's well, we, you know what? It's flawed. Three million people, law-abiding citizens, were denied a, denied a purchase uh, since this has been put in place. But only about one in a thousand are prosecuted for trying to, quote, buy a gun illegally. The reality is most of those three million, 99.9 percent .9 of them, are actually law-abiding citizens who were denied a purchase because the background check system is flawed. It doesn't have the right information in there. It's got false information. And it disproportionately is biased against minorities. If you could get the information from the ATF, you would find that out. Well, we, we have no gun research in this country at all because Congress in many ways has prevented that um, from happening. Congressman Massey, though, I'm well, out of time. Well, I've got an inquiry into yeah. the ATF to get that data. All right. Congressman Massey, I'm going to leave it there. Sir, thanks for coming on and sharing your views. Much Thank appreciated. You, hey, NBC News fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and then click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.